There is much more to break down for this weapon than I assumed there would be. We have a lot to cover, so let's get into it. The Brute Brainer Mark III Latrine Shovel is a versatile weapon. It is most like an axe, but also has characteristics akin to a club. There are six attacks for the Latrine Shovel. Light 1 is a horizontal attack that staggers many enemies at once coming from right to left. Light 2 is exactly like Light 1, but comes from left to right. Light 3, according to the description, is a wide attack damaging many enemies at once. However, there are only two enemies that can be cleaved with this attack, Groaners and Poxwalkers. This is mostly just a strike down coming from right to left at a 45 degree angle. Heavy 1 is referred to, in game, as a strike down, and that is exactly what it is. However, it can cleave the exact same targets as Light 3. Heavy 2 is the exact same attack as Light 2, but is slower and has more damage and cleave. The special attack is a devastating uppercut that delivers enough stagger to trivialize some of the more potent regular enemies in the game, such as Ragers and Maulers. If spamming light attacks, the attack pattern is Light 1, Light 2, then Light 3, followed by Light 2 and Light 3 forever. You can't get back to Light 1 until you end your attack chain. If spamming heavy attacks, it's heavy 1 to heavy 2 all day long. There are great combos that exist that you should be aware of. The light heavy combo, this is light 1 followed by heavy 2 ad infinitum, is perfect for horde management. The heavy light combo, this is heavy 1 followed by light 2. Remember that light 2 is a watered down version of heavy 2 but is faster, and either continues into light 3 or you can go back to heavy 1. I tend to use the former to attack regular enemies after a heavy hit, or I block cancel to get back to heavy 1. The special light combo is if you light attack after your special attack, you will access light 3. The special heavy combo, if you heavy attack after your special attack, it will access heavy 1. That's it. Including light attack spam and heavy attack spam, there are six base attack patterns for this weapon. Let's talk about cleave. It's important to note that the maximum number of targets you can damage from cleave with a latrine shovel is three, and the maximum number of targets you can hit depends on two things and possibly a third. The attack you are using, the enemy type you are hitting, and perhaps the crowd control modifier. I'm going to focus on enemy types that you may encounter in multiples most frequently. However, before we get into that, you should know that there are commonalities among the attacks that lend them to grouping. I will be ignoring the special attack for now, leaving us with three groups to break down by the amount of cleave each group provides. The cleave groups. The first cleave group is single target. This is heavy one and light three. As mentioned before, groaners and poxwalkers are an exception as you can hit and damage two of each enemy with these attacks. Everything else you can hit only one target with these attacks. This is the most simple of the groups. Let's move on. The second cleave group is multi-target. This is light one and light two. I will go through each enemy type and if the number of cleavable targets is three or greater, then you can damage three. Anything below three, you will only hit and damage that many. Groaners, you can hit 9. Poxwalkers and Dregstalkers, 7. Scabstalkers, 6. Scab Bruisers and Scab or Dreg Shotgunners, 4. Scab Shooters and Dreg Bruisers, 5. Scab or Dreg Gunners and Dreg Ragers, 2. Scab Ragers and Scab Maulers, 1. The final cleave group is Charged Multi-Target. This is heavy too. As before, I will go through each enemy type and if the number of cleavable targets is three or greater, then you can damage three. Anything below three, you will only hit and damage that many. Groaners, 15. Poxwalkers, 11. Scab Shooters and Dreg Stalkers, nine. Scab Stalkers and Dreg Bruisers, eight. Scab Bruisers and Scab or Dreg Shotgunners, six. Scab or Dreg Gunners and Dreg Ragers, 3. Scab Ragers and Scab Maulers, you can hit 2. 
The uppercut special attack for the latrine shovel is pretty amazing. I'd argue it is the best special attack across the ogre melee weapons, except for the power maul since its special is intrinsic to its functionality. You can special to heavy combo or special to light combo scab and drag dreg ragers and scab maulers out of existence. Special light is faster but does less damage than special heavy. You can pop a bulwark shield and even knock over an ogre and gunner. About the only enemies that don't care about your uppercut too much are mutants, crushers, and bosses. Let's talk about modifiers. For modifiers, the latrine shovel, like an axe, has a lot of important ones. You need damage penetration and first target to all be well rolled. Crowd control determines the cleave damage distribution as well as the stagger from your attacks, so it's fairly important. Defenses can be your dump stat, but ensure that you have enough value here to give you a dodge limit of four and not three. Let's talk about blessings. Brutal Momentum. Ignore enemy hit mass for 1.5 to 4.5 seconds on weak spot kill. This blessing lends itself to horde management. Attacking with a shovel, getting weak spot kills is difficult. For starters, you are unlikely to kill something with a headshot on the first strike with a light attack. Secondly, the amount of stagger you deliver makes follow-up shots to the noggin near impossible. However, Heavy Attack 1 can easily grant you access to this blessing and all it has to offer. What it has to offer is a lot more cleave, but no more targets taking damage. With the other blessings available for this weapon, I feel you're giving up too much for infinite stagger. If it allowed you to damage more enemies, I'd say it's worthy of consideration. Confident Strike plus 5 to 8% toughness on chained hit. This blessing for the build I run is mandatory. Confident Strike mitigates the giant target on your back. The only requirement is to chain hits. It's a very forgiving blessing in that you can completely miss targets and as long as you keep attacking, the next target you hit will count for Confident Strike. I give it an A+. Perfect Strike. Critical hits ignore hit mass bonus from armor. All I can say about this one is that it does basically nothing. On crit, it allows you to still hit very few targets. If you rolled 5% crit chance on your shovel, you're only at 10% crit chance. So you have a 1 in 10 chance of, from what I can tell, worse crit damage distribution. Consider all other blessings before this one. Skull Crusher. Target receives 1 to 4 stacks of 5% damage on stagger last 5 seconds. This blessing is one of two that add damage to your attacks. You stagger with every swing, strike, or uppercut. Strangely, this blessing seems to stack. There is a very tight window to take advantage of the damage increase from stagger. The damage of the light attack strike down goes from 94 to 132, a 40% increase. However, as far as I can tell, this debuff does not last five seconds. It only lasts as long as the stagger does. It seems broken to me. However, for spamming attacks, there really isn't anything better. Thrust. Plus 5 to 20% power, scaling with charge time, heavy attacks. Stacks three times. This is the second blessing that adds damage to your attacks, but only to heavy attacks. Thrust is a great blessing, but in its typical usage, you are likely to only get zero or one stack of thrust during light heavy horde management combo. I find myself using heavy attacks on this weapon about half the time, so if you have this on your spade, it is in the top three among the pickings. Thunderous. Target receives one to four stacks of 5% brittleness on hit, lasts five seconds. This only affects hits against flak and carapace. Oddly, the heavy attack for the shovel does not apply brittleness, nor do heavy attacks take advantage of brittleness applied by, heavy, by light attacks. This seems very broken. Because of this, I cannot recommend it. If it behaved as it likely should, it's definitely worth a look. The Latrine Shovel is a special weapon in the Ogren's arsenal. It is pretty good at dealing with everything while not really being the best at anything except for the potent uppercut and the trivialization of certain enemies that tend to cause players grief. The top three blessings, in my opinion, are Confident Strike, Skull Crusher, and Thrust. Based on what we've discovered in our time together, I have a hard time choosing between Thrust and Skull Crusher. If you run a shovel with Skull Crusher and Thrust, you're going to need a source of generating toughness. The feats smash them good and 
best form of defense will both work fine with this weapon. Smash them good will work all the time with heavy one, except when attacking a group of groaners or poxwalkers. And best form of defense will be in use constantly during horde management if you're implementing the light heavy combo. If you run a shovel with confident strike and your play is tight, you can get away with running linchpin benefiting the group. If you find you're still unable to keep your toughness up, resulting in taking unnecessary health damage, run one of the other two feats I previously mentioned. The latrine shovel is the closest thing the Ogren has to an axe currently. And if you're a fellow axe lover, it will more or less scratch that itch. The weapon gets a lot of grief for only being able to hit three targets. Having a target cap for damage is fairly standard across most of the ranged or melee weaponry in Darktide. From what I know, the only weapons that aren't subject to this cap are weapons with a cleave targets modifier. Do you think the latrine shovel should damage more than three targets per swing? Do you think brutal momentum should be the medium through which more targets damage is achieved? Or do you think it's fine as it is? Leave a comment down below with your thoughts and let me know what you think. Is there any part of this video you found unnecessary or unhelpful? I'd love to know, so feel free to leave a comment concerning the format of this video as well. Your criticism will only help me make better videos for our community. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. It would really help me out a lot. With that, I'm out. Peace.